What do Mr. Beast, John Oliver, and the Wall Street Journal have in common? The transcripts of their YouTube videos have been scraped to train the AI used by companies like Anthropic, NVIDIA, Apple, and Salesforce. Yikes. An investigation from Wired and Proof News found that this data set, which is called YouTube Subtitles, contains transcripts from over 173,000 YouTube videos on more than 48,000 different channels. Proof News created a searchable database that YouTubers can use to find out which of their videos have been scraped, and what do you know, TechCrunch is on there. But they don't seem to have scraped the TechCrunch Minute, so I'm like, what, am I not good enough? Joking aside, this news is yet another blow to artists. It's one thing for AI to threaten creative people's jobs, but it's another thing entirely to threaten their jobs by copying their work. This is a problem all across the tech industry. Meta is using public posts on Instagram and Facebook to train its own AI, but only European users can opt out, which has left artists in a pickle. One artist and founder, Gina Zhang, took matters into her own hands. She was already building a social platform for artists, but as more of her peers became more vocally frustrated that they needed to use Instagram to find clients, and yet Instagram was stealing their work, Jingna onboarded them to her app, which is called Kara. It's really cool to see how artists can carve out spaces to protect their ownership of their work, but it's a double-edged sword because now Kara's struggling to keep up with server costs since it's bootstrapped. This debacle on YouTube shows that even if YouTube itself isn't actively scraping videos, just having your work online makes you vulnerable and you can't be a digital creator without, well, the digital part. Some projects like the University of Chicago's Nightshade are working on ways to slightly alter the pixels in an image to throw off an AI that might try to scrape it. So while us humans might just see a normal picture of the Mona Lisa, the AI might see a cat. Tech YouTuber Marquez Brownlee was one of the YouTubers whose transcripts were ripped for this data set, and in a response short, he pointed out that it's hard to hold these companies accountable. Anthropic, for example, just pointed the finger at the authors of the data set. Salesforce had a similar response and reiterated that these YouTube videos are publicly available. But that doesn't make using that data set okay. Brownlee pointed out in his video that this situation is, quote, a double whammy for him. He pays for manual transcriptions of all of his videos, since auto transcriptions aren't always accurate. He said, so that means the stolen transcriptions specifically are paid content that's being stolen more than once. Is there a solution here? Maybe YouTube could do something to make it harder to scrape data, but for the YouTubers whose videos are in the data set, the damage is already done.